what if you just, you know that in order for these equations to be equal, what's inside the natural log has to be equal? Yeah. So just take the expressions, set them equal, and solve. Okay, so here, if you subtract a 2x, add a 6, divide by 3, you get your value, oops, x is equal to 2. Oops. Sorry, I wrote this as 6. This should be 9. And so here we add our 6 and our 3 together. We get 9 over 3, which is equal to 3. Okay. All right, it's here. All right, so one possible strategy is to expand this. Well, let's simplify it before we expand it. What can we do to both sides of our equation here? Okay, so if we divide by 4 just to get smaller numbers, log base 3 of 3x is equal to 5. Okay, and so now um, what Josh says is since we have a product 3 times x, so we could separate this, a log base 3 of 3 plus log 3 of x is equal to 5. Well, what is log 3 of 3? 1. You get 1 plus log 3 of x is equal to 5. We can subtract a 1 from both sides. Log 3 x is equal to 4. And now what would we do to write this in uh, the form of an exponent? Remember the, the way that you can convert back and forth? 3 to the power of 4 is equal to x. So what is x going to be? Perfect. Okay. So that's one way. You could go straight from this form right here, and you could say the same thing. 3 to the fifth power is equal to 3x. Okay, divide both sides by 3. Well, when you divide by 3, what do you do with their powers? Subtract. So 5 minus 1 gives you 3 to the 4th, which is 81. So you could do it that way up here, or you can expand it out and simplify. All right. So questions?